Um, there's been a lot of talk recently about Edward Snowden and the NSA tracking civilians, whether it be in our country or other various countries. And I just want to show you a couple things you can do to protect yourself from NSA tracking or any tracking that may take place. Um, first thing we're going to talk about is how to search online without being detected. Um, many search engines will log what you're searching, especially if you have logins for it, like a Yahoo account or any type of account in that search engine. Uh, so one search engine that's been getting a lot of buzz lately is called DuckDuckGo.com, and they pride themselves on not tracking or logging anything you search on this site. So for instance, if you're looking for something, um, whether it be medical records or legal records that you don't want to come back on you and incriminate you, uh, you can use DuckDuckGo to search it. So for instance, let's, uh, let's search the effects of a drug. And you can search it with ease. Now keep in mind your ISP provider um, still may track this and there are some ways around that as well. And we'll talk about that later. But this is a way to do a quick search with not having to worry about being tracked. Um, another thing you can use is what we call a web proxy um, to search websites or even visit websites. And what a proxy will do is it will the server will download the web page and send it to you from their site. So it looks like you're just looking at their website and not visiting the physical site itself. Uh, for instance, I have a... Now keep in mind there are so many different proxies out there, so feel free to do a search and try some of them. For the most part, they're safe. Um, I have HideMyAss.com. Don't worry, it's a donkey. And this is so you can surf the web anonymously. So let's just go to a site I know that's friendly. HomestarRunner.com and there you have it. Now unfortunately you do have some ads unless you pay for the services and everything else. Um, sending an email anonymously this can be very beneficial in situations that you don't want to give your identity away when sending an email. Even if you're sending an anonymous email to a company this is a great way to do it just to give them a heads up so send-email.org and I'm just gonna send this to myself real quick example email and I have a message prepared here that you would most likely use in this situation once again something that could be incriminating to you or be used against you like uh, test results for something, or uh, legal advice, or if you want to send a company an anonymous letter. And it is, it is a public server, so you just send it on its way, and it will get there. And there you have it. Okay, also I'd like to talk about DNS for a little bit. Your internet service provider, your ISP DNS, you, they usually will log everything that you visit and search. Um, now keep in mind, if they really, really want to, they can tell where you have gone, but just to make it a little harder for them, you can change your DNS to a public DNS. Um, I do cover that in my Six Strikes video. It shows you how to get into your router, or router, whatever country you're in, and change your DNS to a public one. Um, I think the example I used was for Google's public DNS. And just a couple of other things. Um, I highly recommend if you are trying to surf the web or research things I that you use public access points um, for instance unsecure networks internet connections at Starbucks libraries hospitals McDonald's um, bookstores etc that that'll just help your overall um, I guess hiding you could say and one more thing I did want to mention is masking your MAC address. Now, your MAC address is a number on your hardware for when you connect to the Internet. You have your IP address that you use to visit, but your MAC address is on your physical hardware, whether it be your network interface card or your Wi-Fi card. So here is a program to mask your MAC address. I will have the link. I will actually have all these links below so you can try this stuff out yourself and it's real simple to use let me just restore my original here and close out 
install it and click random MAC address change it now and now it's changed to a random number so it is not the same number that's on your hardware and you can change this at any time so it'll be a different number at any time um, now along with unsecure networks you can also use dial-up I know it's slow but every time you sign on to dial-up usually they give you a different IP address with each sign-on so if you have a Juno account or NetZero account which are which have 10 hours of free internet a month um, you can alternate and we'll give you a different IP with each sign-on last but not least I just wanted to mention a couple of different things while you're surfing the internet don't use your real name try not to use your internet service provider DNS do not post incriminating information whether it be on Facebook or LinkedIn wherever it doesn't matter the point is your family members might be able to see it the NSA might be able to see it your employer might be able to see it and whether they tell you or not it's going to affect you you may get fired people are gonna hold it against you so just be smart when you're online um, as far as social networking goes make sure when you're done with the website to log out of your account even if you close your browser and open up a new browser that social networking site is logging every website you're going to same thing with all other accounts almost all of them do it so just when you're done log out if you have any questions feel free to post them below if you like the video please subscribe and that's it